Do you know that your body is made up of about 100 trillion factories? That's right, I'm talking about the many different cells that work inside us. I'm Francine and I'll be your tour guide as you take a trip through these tiny factories and find out what they're made of. First things first, all cells, regardless of what kind, will always have these three parts, a cell membrane, a cytoplasm, and a genetic material. Cells are either prokaryotic or eukaryotic. Prokaryotic cells are unicellular. They don't have a nucleus. Eukaryotic cells are much more complex. These cells make up multicellular organisms. Now let's begin our field trip. In a eukaryotic animal cell, we first come face to face with its cell membrane. This checks the objects before they are cleared to enter or exit the cell. Once we get through security, we step into the cytoplasm a jelly-like fluid that contains all the organelles of a cell. Organelles are the tiny structures in the cell with their own unique functions to keep the cell working. Inside the cell is its nucleus, the command center. It goes by a set of instructions, the cell's genetic material, found in the DNA, which dictates what a cell is supposed to do and how it should do it, like a factory's operation manual. The nucleolus produces what we call ribosomes, our ribosome workers synthesize protein, which is then transported in a membrane-enclosed passageway called the endoplasmic reticulum, or ER, sort of like an assembly line. The ER is either rough or smooth. Proteins assembled in the ER are enclosed in vesicles that form from the pinching off of the ER membrane, creating the Golgi body. This processes the proteins which are transported to vesicles to either be secretory vesicles or lysosomes. Lysosomes retrieve damaged cell parts and are very important in breaking down food in digestive cells. They use special enzymes to break down cellular debris. Vacuoles are in charge of storing different materials and isolating waste. They're small in animal cells but can be very large in plant cells. Vacuoles and lysosomes are like the cell factory's maintenance personnel. The mitochondria supply the cell factory with energy in the form of ATP through a process called cellular respiration. Cells cannot work without them. Plant and animal cells basically contain the same organelles, but plant cells get a little extra. And that's all for a cell factory tour. About 100 billion cells shut down each day, but new cells come along to replace them. Each tiny factory worker is equally important as they work together to make up every life form you see, including the most complicated machine you'll ever find, the human body. Imagine that. This has been your tour guide, Francine, reminding everyone that one of life's greatest wonders are the unseen cells at work inside each and every one of us.